After our first layer, the combination of our two ReLU folds created four regions for the next layer of our model to work with. These are easiest to see in a 2D projection like this. Stacking the new fold lines from our second layer, these new folds at various angles come together in a significantly more complex tiling of our map, with these 10 separate regions. When the final layer of our network scales and adds together the outputs of our second layer, the resulting surfaces are composed of the same 10 regions, just with different heights. The height of these surfaces corresponds to the model's final confidence in our two countries. Bringing these surfaces together and finding their intersection, we get this final decision boundary, which shows some nice piecewise linear curvature around the Belgium regions of our map. So the first layer of our network creates these two folds and four separate regions on our map, which are then split by our second layer into these 10 regions, which are used by our final layer to create these surfaces, which intersect in a nice border.